welcome back to my youtube channel it's day 24 everything looks a lot greener thanks to my fertilization last time or perhaps in part just due to the genetic program of how these seedlings develop perhaps they're destined to become much greener after a while I didn't fertilize on this day because I wanted to let the potting mix dry out I've been fertilizing every two days sometimes a little sometimes a lot and that requires a lot of water to dissolve the crystals so there you can see I just knocked off a tiny little leaf I was really upset with myself right afterwards I didn't feel anything I just noticed it visually but if you look back at the footage I did brush it almost at a perpendicular angle to how it's attached however you can see the bottom of this petiole junction between the leaf and the stem it's a little bit yellow there so I don't know if it was destined to just fall off like that or did I apply too much force this just reinforces my belief that mangoes are very fragile plants starting from the seeds all the way until now and I imagine the tree as an adult or sapling can't possibly be that fragile but they're very vulnerable in the beginning you can see this first mover is beautiful now not all of its leaves are a dark green but there's definitely a significant greening towards the color I want and the color we're accustomed to seeing for all my other plants as well as what you would expect just from any orchard tree in general so I know some of these leaves aren't the same color as the ones facing the sliding door the back I guess there's more chlorophyll production uh, facing away from the sun haven't rotated this pot yet but I will soon this third mover also has new leaf primordia at the top even though like with the first mover and all the others it hasn't finished growing its existing leaves and it's also got two of those very very thin leaves starter leaves perhaps I didn't um, think there were cotyledons but they, they just seem weird they do seem to get bigger and broader so perhaps they can go into full leaves so it's day 26 my seedlings now look beautiful and healthy right after I took this footage I did fertilize right at the base I sprinkled on the miracle Grow right in a perimeter around their stems and then I did some top watering in those areas to dissolve the crystals so this third mover actually because I spun the pot around it's coming along nicely I have a feeling they're always going to be ranked in size by the same ranks because they um, sprouted in a different order you know temporally they're a few days apart so that's why the first mover is always going to look huge compared to the rest but I'm thinking this polyembryonic one now looks like one of the least healthy ones because it's so small and this one on the top is kind of covering the other one so there's a dominant an alpha and a beta and I have no way of knowing which one is a clone of the mother tree so if you have any knowledge and can differentiate just based on this high resolution video evidence please let me know but otherwise I was thinking I'm just gonna go with the firstborn it's so big and it seems to have greening leaves pretty soon it's going to be big and beautiful reaching for the skies and I'm pretty sure it's going to dominate um, left to its own devices so please provide some input in the comments as to which one you want to see me keep and thanks for watching